Hello everyone, my name is Victorin. In this video, I will be presenting about the formulation of FAO 56 method for estimating evapotranspiration. The FAO 56 method is based on penman montis equation for a hypothetical reference crop that resembles a uniform well-watered grass crop that has fixed crop height, albedo, and surface resistance. This hypothetical reference crop is defined as a crop with an assumed crop height of 0.12 meter, a fixed surface resistance of 70 seconds per meter, and an albedo of 0.23. Based on this defined characteristics of reference crop, the equation for reference evapotranspiration can be derived from the penman montit equation as follows. To estimate the actual evapotranspiration from FAO 56 reference evapotranspiration, the crop coefficients are developed Crop coefficients is empirical coefficient to reference evapotranspiration that can be determined by crop type, climate, soil evaporation, and crop growth stages. Crop coefficients are first developed for standard conditions such as excellent agronomic and soil water conditions, then adjusted for non-standard condition when management and environment effects influence crop evapotranspiration. Crop coefficients vary at different growth stages of the crop, namely initial crop development, mid-season, and late season. Therefore, it is important to determine length of crop season and length of each growth stage when applying this method to estimate crop evapotranspiration. Standard conditions, which means no limitations on crop growth due to water shortage, crop density or disease, wheat, insect or salinity pressures. There are two methods for crop coefficient under standard conditions. The first method is single crop coefficient Kc and the second is dual crop coefficient Kcb plus Ke, which are basal crop coefficients and soil evaporation coefficient. The first method is mainly used for non-frequent irrigations while the second method is for high frequency irrigation. The steps to determine Kc or Kcb plus Ke detailed in FAO 56 report are summarized in this flowchart. After calculating reference evapotranspiration, we need to select the length of growth stage in reference table and adjust based on local crop calendar. Then select values for Kc or Kcb for each crop growth stage, initial, mid-season, and late season. After that, we need to adjust Kc and Kcb to wetting frequency of soil surface and local climatic conditions. For dual crop coefficient methods, the daily soil evaporation coefficients Ke need to be determined and added to Kcb. Finally, we can determine crop evapotranspiration by multiplying reference crop evapor evapotranspiration with the crop coefficients. Under non-standard condition, there are some adjustments to the FAO 56 crop coefficient. For example, under the soil water stress, Kc and Kcb are adjusted by multiplying with Ks, the soil water stress coefficient. Ks is a function of soil water content, field capacity, and wilting point. Ks equal 1 when soil water content is between field capacity and the readily available water content. Ks smaller than 1 when soil water content is lower than readily available water content and reaching 0 when soil water content is at wilting point. Soil salinity will lower the Ks, with the effects depends on the electrical conductance measurement of the soil.
for other non-standard conditions, further adjustment of crop coefficient are required. These conditions are first natural, non-typical, and non-pristine vegetation which require adjustment for the sparse vegetation or for stomata control. Management practices such as surface mulching, intercropping, small areas of vegetation, and management induced environmental stress. Non-growing periods also require different adjustment of crop coefficient. For more details of these adjustments, you can refer to the FAO 56 report.